In this video, I'll show you how to create this simple website layout using CSS Flexbox. And I will also show you how to make it responsive like this. So let's get into it. In my project folder, I have this HTML file with the boilerplate. I just link the style sheet and change the title. And inside the CSS file, I reset the margin and padding and set the box sizing to a border box. Now, before we start, let's take a look at this finished version and break it down. First thing that we are going to create is a big container that is going to contain all of these boxes. But instead of one, I will create two containers. The first one is going to have this section. And the second one is going to have this section. And in this way, it is going to be much more easier to understand. So let's create a container and a second container. And let's start with the first container. Let's take a look at this one. As you can see, we have a header box at the top. So let's create a header. And under the header, we have this section, which has basically two columns side by side. We can think of this as one big box. So let's create a section for that. And inside this section, we will have a column left and a column right. And that is it with the first container. We have the header at the top and section under it with two boxes inside. So before we go even further, let's style this first container. Let's select the body and the container first and set the minimum height to 100 VH. And let's change the background color to this dark color. Select the container again. And as I said, to create the layout, we will use Flexbox. So I will make this container a flex container using display flex. And after making it a flex container, every child element inside this container is now a flex item. That means we can select them and we can give them flex one. And to be able to see, we will create a red border as well. Now, as you can see inside this first container, we have two boxes that are side by side and they are equally sized because they both have flex one. That means they are taking one fraction of space inside this container. So they are equally sized. But the problem is we don't want them side by side. If you go back to the finished version, we need two boxes that are stacked on top of each other. The first one is going to be this one. And the second one is going to be one big box. So we need to go back to the container and change the flex direction to column. And now the boxes are not side by side. They are on top of each other. And if you look at the finished version again, this first box is much more smaller than the second one. So basically this section is going to be taking more space than the one on the top. And I can easily increase this to four. And now this section has four fraction of space and header has one fraction of space. Let's also put some gap between them. And let's also give some margin to this container 2EM to 5EM. So we have 5EM space on the sides and 2EM space on the top and the bottom. And let's also add some radius to those boxes as well. And the next thing to do is to have two boxes inside this section, which we already created. Let's go back to the CSS. And just like we did with this container, I will set this section to display flex to make it a flex container. Let's select the column left and column right. And just like we did with the others, we will set them to flex one and flex one. Let's add border. And now you can see those two columns side by side. 
and we can delete this border on the section put some gap between them copy and paste the same amount of border radius and the one on the left is going to be taking more space than the one on the right so let's increase this to two fraction and now as you can see we created the exact layout so before we go into the next part let me quickly delete those borders and copy and paste some colors and now the next part second container is going to have basically the same section so let's copy and paste this and right under this section we will have a footer let's scroll down and you can see the second section and we cannot see the footer yet because we didn't style it let's go back into the CSS file I will select the second container and its section and I will change the flex direction to row reverse and now basically this second section is the reversed version of this first one and finally let's select the footer give them flex one as well the same border radius as the others and let me copy and paste this background color and now we are basically done with this layout the layout looks like this now and the only thing left is to create the responsiveness I will create a breakpoint and I will set the max width 968 and when you hit this number in the viewport we will change the flex direction and the second section to column and let's also lower the margin on the container and there you go as you can see if you go down under 968 pixels this flex direction of this section which is set to row by default we change it to column and the boxes are now stacked on top of each other and the second section as well so we basically have this one single column and this is how you create a responsive layout using flexbox i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you for your time and i will see you next time